أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه إن شاء الله tonight to be our last class بإذن الله تعالى for عقيدة and we shall resume when the school resumes next semester bihiznillahi ta'ala and we we quickly finish up where we stopped so that we can continue from a new uh, section next semester inshallah we are still discussing ar-rafidah and we've talked about two to three beliefs the creed of theirs so one of them is that we said they believed that the Sahaba, the companions, that they are kufar, that they are disbelievers. So secondly, they also have the belief that the khilafa, the caliphacy, after the demise of the Prophet mm-hmm. was not supposed to be Abu Bakr, not supposed to be Umar, that it was supposed to be Ali. That is their belief. Thirdly, we also said that they believed that the Prophet Sallam Pronounced 12 imams. 12 imams. That he pronounced them as the leaders. So that the world will not be in loss of mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. So these imams will be the one after the demise of the Prophet that will be leading the world. They have the belief that it was pronounced by the Prophet Sallallahu But this is nothing but falsity. Falsehood. And um, to them... They used to believe, like we said, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam pronounced it that Ali will be the Khalifa. Then after Ali, I will mention the twelve people that they mention. Inshallah, Ali. Let's let's take uh, count of them. Ali. Then after Ali, they said, "Thumma nasu ala an yakun al Khalifa min baadhi al Hasan ibn Ali." So that's the second person. The third person is Al Hussein ibn Ali. The fourth, Al-Baqiyya, the rest of them, like the remaining, uh, that, is, that was going to be nine of them, Min Nasli Hussein, they are from the offspring of Hussein, the remaining nine of them. So, and they mention them, Awal whom Ali ibn al Hussein, that makes four. Zayd al Abidin is also said Zayd al Abidin. Uh, Thumma Muhammad ibn Ali, <coughs> ibn Ali al-Baqir makes five. Thumma Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq does six. Thumma Musa ibn Ja'far al-Kazib makes seven. Thumma Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha does eight, right? Thumma Muhammad ibn Ali al-Jawad does nine. Thumma Ali ibn Muhammad al-Hadi does ten. Thumma al-Hasan eleven. Then last of all, ثم الخلف الحجة المهدي المنتظر محمد ابن الحسن الذي دخل سرداب سامراء the the one that they proclaim that he entered سرداب. So these are the twelve of them as to to them that the last one المهدي المنتظر they said he entered this particular place in the year 260 الإجرية. وَلَمْ يَخْرُجْ إِلَى الْآنِ And he has not come out from where he entered till this moment. وَيَقُولُونَ هَذَا أُوَ الْمَهْدِي الْمُنْتَظَرِ They would say that the that, that person who is the Al-Khalif, uh, Al-Ujjah, Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadhar is the, the Mahdi that we are expecting. That he has not come out from that uh, particular place he entered called Sardab. فَمَضَوْا عَلَيْهِ مُدَّةً مُدَّةٌ طَوِيلًا وَلَمْ يَخْرُجْ So, we, you know, a lot of time. Look at the time we are talking about. Over a thousand years. Eh? <laughs> exactly. Over a thousand years. So, يَقُولُ شَيْخِ الْإِسْلَامِ إِبْنُ تَيْمِيَّ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ فِي زَمَانِهِ شَيْخِ الْإِسْلَامِ said إِنَّهُ مَضَى عَلَيْهِ أَرْبَعُ مِئَةَ سَنَةً So, then, when شَيْخِ الْإِسْلَامِ said it, أَرْبَعُ مِئَةَ سَنَةً وَلَمْ يَخْرُجْ He has not come out. 400 years. وَنَهْنُ نَكُولْ And we will say إِنَّهُ مَضَى عَلَيْهِ الْآنْ أَلْفٌ وَمِيَتَانِ So, 
1,200 years. وَلَمْ يَخْرُجْ And he has not yet come out. وَيَقُولُونَ And they would say to the رافضة الأمة موقوف عمرها ومرجع أتى يخرج المهدي That this ummah, this nation of Islam, the affairs of Islam is tied, is hanged until Mahdi comes out. That's the belief of Ar-Rafidah. Na'udhu billahi min thalik. They say the affairs of Islam in general, in, in, in general is tied and hanged until he comes out. Wa yakulun, they will also say, innahu dakhul al-sardab. He entered this place called Sardab. Wa huwa ibn khums sinin. That he was five years when he entered there. Wa minhum, amongst them we say, He, he was Ibn Salat Sinin. He was uh, three years old when he entered that place. Walam Yakhruj at Tel An. And he has not come out till now. 1,400 and. Eh? 200 years ago. Eh? Subhanallah. 1,200 years ago. Because it was 200 years after. So. Subhanallah. Taifa ya inshu tiflun dakhla sabdab habihil mudda tatawila. How will he. You know, be living for this lengthy period of time. Is it possible? Ain al uqul. Where is the where is the brain in what they are saying? That he entered there and he has not come out. So wakifa you akhiru amra aw you akharu amru al umma. Why will they now hang the affairs of the whole umma because of just one person, Al Mahdi, that we are expecting him to come out? Does it make sense? So is a question is a is a question that we need to be ans- answering ourselves. وَلَا يَكُونُ أَحَدٌ سَعِيدًا So nobody will become سَعِيد Like a happy person, a successful person Based on his deeds إِلَّا بِمُتَابَعَةِ هَذَا الشَّخْصِ الْمَوْهُومِ Except he follows this uh, Mahdi To them, Mahdi is like Will I say they give him the importance We give Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم So nobody will become a successful person in both, both lives Except he follows This person that we are even still doubtful about him entering one place or not. Subhanallah. Wa min al-ajib. What is now surprising most is annahum yakuluna inna Muhammad ibn al-Hasan wa alladhi dakhul al-sardad. That Muhammad ibn al-Hasan was the one who entered the sardad. Some of them would say that. Wa abuhu ma ta'atiman. Look at a confusing statement. The person who entered Who, who they claimed entered the Sardar? They said is Muhammad. Right? Ibn al Hassan. But the father of this person was a baron. Can we, can we, how can a baron give birth to somebody? So the person that they said is, was his father happened to be a baron who never had a child. And they said this person was a son to, so it's, it's, uh, it's confusing. It's confusing. So a baron can never have a child. So if he's truly, he was truly a baron, then he could not have a child. So this is some of the, their, their desires and their, you know, misunderstanding, ambiguities that they, they claim regarding, uh, al-Islam. Now, let's now assume. If we now assume, let's, let's believe, let's assume we believe that truly he entered the Sardab as they claimed. Will he live for 1,200 years? If we say, let's claim that he, 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 he it's, it's, it's impossible. So, Al Mar'at, then there are this scholar that we are reading his book. He said, a woman whose husband leaves home for like a few months or a few days. What happens to that woman? What will, what will she do? Like a woman whose husband does not come home for like maybe days or weeks or months. The woman will, will have to report that man to necessary quarters, right? That was happening. My husband is not. <laughs> so the, the scholar is now comparing and contrasting. Okay? Now say, well, umma to kulluha indahum mawkufa. Now, a woman whose husband is not with her. Cannot hold on because the husband leaves her for some days. What about the affairs of the entirety of the ummah now hanged and held tied in the hand of one person? It makes no, it makes no sense. So that is why we, we enjoin us to seek the knowledge, the aqidah, because 
everybody will claim that they are doing the right thing. In fact, if you have the if you ask the Rasul, what are you upon? They say Sunnah. Of course, everybody will claim the Sunnah. They will never say they are against the Sunnah. It's Sunnah. But is that really what Islam teaches? Of course, no. So this is what we we will know here. And um, another belief of theirs is that يَعْتَكِدُونَ أَنَّ الْقُرْآنَ غَيْرُ مَحْفُوظٍ They used to believe that the Qur'an is not protected. That they've, they've, they've scattered it. They've, uh, just like the, the, uh, the Bible. That, you know, some things have been removed. They also have the belief that Qur'an, as it is, is not complete. Subhanallah. After Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Hijr, verse 9, إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الذِّكْرِ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ We are the one that reviewed and sent the Qur'an and we are the one that are protecting it. Now, somebody, the Rijal of they are now saying the Qur'an is not protected. So, another belief of theirs is يَعْتَقِدُونَ آلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيَتَوَسَّلُونَ بِهِمْ وَبِالْأَئِمَّةِ وَاحِدًا بَعْدَ وَاحِدٍ they they are worshipping Alul Bayt, the household of the Prophet. They are worshipping them. So it, it, sometimes they will call Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. Just like we call Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. Ya Ali. They are worshipping them. So these kuf of the highest of, of the highest order. They are kufar. So may Allah guide us aright. وَهَذَا شِرْكٌ فِي الرُّبُوبِيَةِ So inshallah, uh, these are the six beliefs, notable beliefs. It may be more than this, but notable one among their creed of الروافض, الروافض. So, so that when they are saying it outside there, we know that, okay, this is the people that, 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 that have this belief. This is the right belief that we should have. So we're going to stop here, inshallah. When school resumes next semester, we shall continue from an Another sect regarding the Sahaba. We are discussing the importance of the Sahaba and how we should believe as Muslims and how we should relate as Muslims towards the Sahaba. When they are mentioned, we should say, Radiyallahu anhum, we should not delve into the happenings or the events that happened in the past between them. Uh, this person did this because by so doing, we may be, you know, abusing one Sahabi or the other. I'm sorry, or the other. So we should try as much as possible to not delve in, into the matters that occurred. And we pray Allah Azza wa Jal uh, grant us the mercy and the, his pleasure and make us steadfast on his path. Amin. Any question? Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shallah ila ila ant astaghfiruku wa atubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اللهم رحمتك أرجو فلا تكلني إلى نفسي طرفة عين وأصلح لي شأني كله لا إله إلا أنت